to all of Wendy's friends here on her channel. I want to introduce myself. My name is Heather Boyd Wire. I've been making wire art for many, many years. I didn't know Wendy, but I'm very honored that her husband, Chris, has invited me to make a tutorial on her channel in her honor. I would have loved to know Wendy. I've looked at a few of her videos. I see that Wendy was a very warm and loving and creative soul. It's my honor to be making a video here. I know Wendy was a beater extraordinaire. So I've done a project that you guys can embellish with as many beads as you like. Today we are going to take a cookie cutter and trace it with wire to make a Christmas tree. And then we're going to fill it up with beads. I've done a video on my channel making a reindeer ornament using the same technique. So without further ado, cheers to Wendy and enjoy the tutorial. You can use a jig for this project or freeform the outside shape of the tree. You also are going to need your tools, some different sizes wire. I have 16 gauge and 1.5 millimeter wire for the outside and a variety of beads and here you can get a cookie cutter to trace the shape of the tree so i did take that cookie cutter and i traced it onto a grid that matches with the artistic wire deluxe jig kit and i am going to use about 15 inches of the wire and twist it around the outside shape of the tree so for this one, I am using 16 gauge copper wire. This is the artistic copper wire. It comes in many colors. It's actually my favorite wire. And so we are going to go around the outside of these pegs and just work our way around. If you pull the wire as you go, it will make it nice and snug. And so we won't have any kind of wrinkly edges to it we're going to bring it all the way around straight up so our lines are nice and straight and then we're going to remove it from the jig from there we are going to bend one of the wires straight up i'm just tightening up that bend with my flat pliers and to wind the wire around the top i help it out with my round pliers just because the wire is a little bit stiff and we're just going to give it a good little tug to attach it at the top. And from there we'll take our flush cutters. These are the Zeron flush cutters. We're going to clip it nice and flush and then take our flat pliers. These are the Zeron tweezer nose pliers and we'll give it a little pinch so it holds in place. And then you can do any little adjustments to make the tree a little bit flatter you can do that with your pliers you can do it with your fingers just to flatten it out a little bit tighten up at the top if you need to and there's our outside shape so from here i'm going to form the star so we need five equal sized sides around there so we're just going to bend it anywhere from half to five eighths of an inch as long as all the sides are the same length so we'll just measure them as we go and we are going to bend it with the tweezer nose pliers this is like drawing a five point star but we're drawing with our wire if you prefer if it's easier you can always just put a star bead or any kind of bead on top there's all kinds of possibilities for this design how you can adapt it so we're just completed that star and we will clip it flush with our flush cutters just give it a good little clip remove that end and then push that little pokey end in there so there is our outside of the tree that's complete and I'm going to add some wire. So this is 20 gauge wire. And this is the also the artistic wire in a green color. It's the Christmas green. So we're just going to bring that one around and tighten it up so it stays put on one side of the tree. So now we're going to clip that little end 
flush and bring it around so it's facing front. And I'm going to take some six millimeter miracle beads. Now, miracle beads are my favorite beads. They're made of acrylic, they're very lightweight, and the colors are gorgeous. They have many layers of lacquer to give them a kind of a 3D quality. And they have a decent size hole, so you could put them on a thicker wire as well. So we're just going to attach the wire on either side, and we're going to go back and forth adding beads as we go. So hold the bead firmly between your thumb and finger and then the next spot just hold it in place with your thumb and finger and wind the wire around. So it makes it look a little fancy and it also holds the bead in place. It's like the beads are suspended within the tree. Now you could put more beads if you want. You could put them closer together. And I'll show some pictures at the end where I filled it in a little bit more with the wire and the beads. But this is a nice little basic tree with just a few little beads on it. You could really embellish it any way that you like. So I'm just adjusting it a bit. And there's our first tree. So for the second one, I am going to take the aluminum wire. I'm actually straightening it out with my nylon jaw pliers. These are from Beetalon. And then I'm taking my cookie cutter and because the wire is soft, I could actually form it around the cookie cutter, just pushing it in with my thumb. This would be more difficult with a copper wire, but because the aluminum is very soft, it's easy to mold it around the outside of the cookie cutter. I've done a similar tutorial with a star shape. So there's all kinds of different designs you can do in this manner, as long as it's a fairly straightforward, simple shape. So just hold it onto the cookie cutter and push it into the little crevices, hold it snugly and bring it around. I'm just smoothing it out with my thumb to make it a little more curved towards the top. And then I'm going to bend it straight across. So once you've done one side, we're going to turn the cutter around and form the other side. So just go slowly with it. Hold it securely between your thumb and finger and just smooth the wire around the outside of the cookie cutter. Just move your hands along as you go, curve it around and really try to push it into those corners and bring it up to the top. So once you've done the outside, you can lift it off the cookie cutter. And then we are going to help that one side around with the round pliers. This just prevents it from getting distorted Give it a little tug and clip that end so that's securely in place and then we're going to pinch it with the flat pliers so it doesn't slip. So now we're going to take some 20 gauge green wire and I have a little star sequin here. It's like a button. It's a sew on rhinestone star shape made out of plastic. You can probably find them at a sewing store or craft store, or you can get them on Amazon. This one's about 15 millimeters wide, and we're going to attach it with the green wire. So we've just put the wire through in two places, and now we're going to hold it at the top of the tree and wind the green wire around the outside of the tree. So just hold it securely in place and bring the wire around. It's a long piece. If you run out of wire, you can always add wire. Don't worry too much about that. I cut it quite long, probably about 20, 24 inches. And so we're going to also attach it at the top. Just wind it around at the top. And we can get our flush cutters and clip that end of the green wire. 
and we're going to clip the top of the aluminum wire so it's flush. Get our round pliers and bend it out and around to form a little loop at the top that will be able to add a ribbon to hang it from the tree. So make sure that loop is centered. The aluminum wire is quite soft and quite easy to manipulate with your hands as well. So just do any little adjustments that you need. And we're going to curve the green wire around. And then we added beads as we did in the first one. Now there's other ways you can add beads. You can do a kind of chaos wrap with the beads or just put a whole bunch of seed beads and other beads to fill it in. So thank you so much to Chris for inviting me onto Wendy's channel. Wishing everyone all the best for the holidays and gentle peace.